I am going to tell about SAP GTS interview questions and answers. Let's start. All the best. Questions number one, what is GTS and SAP? So. The System for Global Trade Services, GTS, lets you automate your global trade transactions, manage large numbers of business partners and documents, and ensure that your company always complies with constantly changing international legal regulations. Questions number two, what are the key aspects of SAP GTS? So, the major components of SAP Global Trade Services are as follows. Compliance Management Customs Management Risk Management Electronic Compliance Reporting, ECR Questions number three compare ACC Foreign Trade versus SAP Global Trade Services, GTS? So, since the commercial enterprise systems are getting more complex and markets becoming extra global nowadays, the necessity of managing overseas trade of a commercial enterprise is swiftly gaining significance. SAP Foreign Trade and or SAP Global Trade Services, GTS, affords the tools you need to compete efficaciously in nowadays market. This allows you to manage import and export approaches, integrating them efficiently into the supply chain. Questions number four, what are the advantages of using SAP GTS? So, the primary advantages of the use of SAP GTS are saving the time via automated approaches, expenditure discount, less human paintings worried, automatic checking the compliance violation and banned dealers, can keep the organization emblem and accept as true with by means of fending off the fines and consequences fast exchange processing, and consumer delight. SAP SD Tutorial, SAP HR Interview Questions Questions number 5, what is relation between R-3 and SAP GTS? So, it is an enterprise huge fax gadget designed to coordinate all of the assets, statistics, and activities wanted to finish enterprise procedures along with order achievement or billing. The most broadly used modules have been Financial S and Controlling, FICO, Human Resources, HR, Materials Management, MM, Sales and Distribution, SD, and Production Planning, PP. Questions number 6, what are the functionalities involved in SAP GTS? So, the functionalities worried in SAP GTS are Compliance Management, for test, global exchange compliance problems. Customs Management, deals with customs-relevant transactions. Risk Management, to decrease the risks involved with monetary transactions. Electronic Compliance Reporting, for submitting the reports for inter-European change. Questions number 7, what are the major components of SAP GTS? So, SAP Customs Management, customs-related tactics are handled by the SAP Customs Management, what is licensed through the customs. Key factors are the product type, customs valuation, the print out of foreign alternate documents, and no longer least the IT-based customs clearance, using an electronic verbal exchange with the customs. The digital atlas machine, automatic tariff and nearby customs gadget, as well the European Transit System NCTS, new computerized transit machine, are supported via SAP GTS. This is for all exporting organizations even extra essential because using Atlas is obligatory, considering January 7, 2009 in Germany. Questions number 8, what are the benefits of SAP GTS? So, benefits of SAP GTS. Ensure vigilant compliance with trade policies. Mitigate risks of big fines and consequences. Avoid high-priced cargo delays at borders and customs. Quick implementation. Lower IT protection prices. Faster communication with customs. Lot of return of funding. Questions number 9 Explain compliance management? So, compliance management contains functions relating to import and export control regulations. This feature allows you to monitor procedures that are subject to licensing requirements and to comply with international legal regulations which prevent and or restrict trade with individuals, groups, and individual countries. Point three main areas of compliance management are Sanctioned party list screening 
legal control, export, including embargo checking and license management. Questions number 10 explain about the risk management function in SAP GTS. So, risk management is used for letter of credit processing, preference determination and the management of long-term vendor declarations. Allowing you to minimize the financial risk associated with global trade activities, the following services are available. Preference processing. Letter of credit processing. Restitution. Questions number 11. What are the things can be achieved by using SAP GTS? So. These are some of the things that can be achieved with the help of an automated GTS platform. Reduced risks of trade penalties and fines. Boost in productivity and streamlining of all trade processes for improved international operations. Elimination of all the manual tasks with the help of automated tools. Correspondingly, the time associated with these manual tasks is also eliminated. Questions number 12. What are the reports available to evaluate and analyze data for any of the services in SAP GTC? So, using the following reports that are available, you can evaluate and analyze data for any of the services you use in SAP GTS. Imports. Imports by product. Imports by country. Exports. Exports by product. Exports by country. Questions number 13. What is the difference between Tally software and SAP software? So, Tally is a basic user-friendly accounting software application. Whereas SAP is a full-fledged full ERP software. The advantage of ERP software in any large firm is it gives access to as many employees as possible, which is limited to their function. For example, the PO is raised in the production module, whereas the invoice is raised in the FICO module. For an invoice to be processed in SAP, there needs to be a three-way watch. As soon as the three-way watch is done, invoice gets booked and while doing a payment run, it gets picked in the payment run and the vendor gets paid. Questions number 14. What is the difference between AC payable slash receivable and bills payable slash receivable? So, accounts payable, amounts payable to the suppliers slash vendors slash creditors. The accounting institution also can be referred to as a sundry creditors. This is current liability. Bills payable, bills of exchange drawn with the aid of creditors slash suppliers on the agency and as a current liability. Bills receivable, bills of exchange drawn by a company on its customers slash debtors and as a current asset. Questions number 15 explain about the electronic compliance reporting function is SAP GTS. So. Electronic Compliance Reporting, ECR, allows the regular trouble of interest at declarations to the authorities for inter-European exchange between new member states. The relevant facts is gathered from the logistics methods, after which sent to your country-wide records government periodically. Questions number 16. What are the PO types in purchasing and invoices in AP? So, here are mainly four types of POs are there. Standard PO. Blanket PO. Contract PO. Planned PO. Questions number 17. Can we run a business warehouse without SAP R slash 3 implementation? So. Yes, you can run a business warehouse without R slash 3 implementation. You have to simply transfer structures associated with business warehouse data sources, ODS table, InfoCube, to the inbound data files or use third-party tools to connect your flat files and other data sources. Questions number 18 What the different types of variables are? So, variables are used in the different application are Characteristics variable Hierarchies Hierarchy nodes Text Formulas Processing types Questions number 19 mention some of the setbacks of SAP? So, it is expensive. Demands highly trained staff. Lengthy implementation time. Interfaces are a little bit complex. Does not determine where master data resides. Thanks for watching. We are here to boost your career.